Hi, welcome guys, welcome to this lesson with schoolmate.com on simplifying serves. Okay, a couple of things, we like to keep them nice and simple, people get scared of these but they're really, really easy. Number one thing you need to know is you must know your square numbers. So these are the square numbers here, 4 and 9, because 2 squared is 4, 3 squared is 9, so 4 and 9 are the square numbers. You should really be writing all those ones down at least up to 10 squared, so you know what all those numbers are. So you're looking for square numbers. Okay? Outside of that, the rule that you need to know is the square root of AB of the number can be broken down into square root of A times the square root of B. So the square root of a number times another number. Okay? Nice and easy. Let's look at a couple of examples really quickly. Example number one is let's simplify root 72. Okay? So step one is to find the highest square number that will go into 72. So if you've got them all written down on your page, which one is the highest one that will go into it? Okay? Now 72 has the factors of 36 and 2. And 36 is a square number. Alright? So step two is to follow our rule. So now we're going to go A times B using these two numbers. 36 root 36 times root 2. Step 3 then is to do our answer. The square root of 36, now you should already know the answer to that because you wrote it down, but you can do it on your calculator, it's nice and easy. Square root of 36 is 6. Square root of 2 comes down here. So our answer becomes 6 root 2. Nice and easy. Let's try one other one really quickly while we're here. Okay, we'll get rid of this stuff really fast. Okay, simplify the square root of 120 is our next example really quickly. So step one is to find the highest square number. So as we go through, what you're going to find is the highest square number is 4. Now 4 times 30 will give us that. Okay, so 4 th times 30 gives us 120 and 4 is the highest square number that will go into it. Follow the rule then. Root 4 times root 30. Okay, and then let's get our answer. Square root of 4 is 2. Root 30. Nice and easy. Here's a couple of practice questions for you to do. First one. Let's have a go at those. The first one is simplify root 60, and the second one is simplify root 75. Join us after the break in about five minutes, come back and we'll go through the answers to those two. Hi and welcome back. Hope you had a uh, decent attempt at them. Let's go through the answers and see how you went. The first practice that we needed to do was to simplify root 60. Alright, so step one is find the highest square. So you would have found out the highest square number because you wrote them down. The highest square number that goes into 60 is 4. Now 4 times 15 gives us 60. Step number two, we're following the rule. So root 4 times root 15. And step three is to give us that answer. Okay, square root of 4 is 2. And the root 15 just comes down and put in there. So 2 root 15 is your answer there. Hope you got that one okay. The next one was to simplify the square root of 75. Okay, so find the highest square number going through them. What goes in, what goes in. You would have found out that 25 was the highest square number. 25 times 3 gives you 75. Follow the rule. 25, so square root 25, square root 3. Put the square root of 25 then and our answer is 5. Root 3 comes down in here because we can't break that one down any further. So 5 root 3. Hope you got both of those correct. Hope you got a bit of better understanding. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you again.